And I'd like to talk a little bit about the recent health care legislation. A lot of people call it Obamacare. And I just want to make some general observations about, about that bill. Uh, first of all, the way it was passed. Of course, it was literally crammed down the throats of the American people by an administration who promised transparency and that everything would be put up on the Internet so everybody would have an opportunity to have input before a bill was passed. But laying that aside, it was a bill of thousands of pages that the representatives in Congress themselves uh, confessed they'd never read. Charlie Gonzalez, the, the Washington insider that's my opponent in this race, confessed he, did, he didn't read the legislation before he signed it, before he passed it. Uh, and Nancy Pelosi said, <laughs> this is amazing to me, we have to pass the bill so we'll know what's in it. And the reality is, even though they've passed it, and, and I've been trying to slog through it, it's, it's very difficult reading, obviously, and, but people still don't know what's in it. But there are some things that I know that are in it that are really disturbing. First of all, not one new hospital was built as a result of this health care bill, trillion dollar health care bill. Not one new doctor was trained although I've talked to a lot of doctors who say they're going to get out of the medical practice because of all the regulations associated with the bill. But what was passed was money to hire 16,500 new IRS agents to chase us for our money. This was not a health care bill. This was a, a tax collection bill. Another thing that was in the bill, uh, $60 billion that was earmarked for student loans and a student loan program that utilized private industry or private lenders to get student loans in the hands of students that needed an education was taken over by the federal government. Now, what does student loans have to do with health care? Another thing in the bill, there's going to be a panel that will punish doctors if they fail to follow the regulations. At the same time, the bill creates 157 new federal agencies and gives authority to all of them to promulgate regulations. It will be five or six years before all those promulgated regulations go through the judicial system and we have case law on it. Nobody knows what's in our health care now and will not know for at least three or four years. And Congress can stop it. Congress made the mess. Congress needs to clean it up. I'm asking you to vote for me, Clayton Trotter, for Congress, 20th Congressional District in San Antonio, Texas.